I'd like to give a shout out to T2 International. And thank you for taking the time for all the comments you made on my recent videos. You brought up some very interesting points and observations in your comments, so I thought I would do a video response. The first thing I would like you to know, and anybody watching, and to make very clear, if you haven't already discerned this, is that I am not a Democrat and I am not a Republican. I totally and wholeheartedly agree that one party is just as bad as the other. I think it's very sad that the two candidates that American citizens were left with in this last election was Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I think that a lot of people who voted for Trump were actually voting against Hillary Clinton more than they were actually voting for Trump. There was actually a third candidate a candidate, a very strong candidate on the ballot for those who, of us who are believers, and his name is Jesus the Christ, and that is who I've been voting for for a large part of my life, and in my opinion, as a Christian, my candidate always wins. I do not put my faith and trust in any political party or president or politician. I know that they do not determine my fate. Jesus the Christ determines my fate. I watch politics, I listen to politicians very closely, because they give me insight and foresight into what's really happening in this world today and what is to come. T2 International, one of the things you said in your comments is that we as Christians are supposed to be staying away from conspiracies and be praying for peace with Israel and for our cities, states, and neighborhoods. Let me first speak first on we as Christians are supposed to be staying away from conspiracies. And let me start by actually defining what a conspiracy is. A conspiracy is a secret plan for a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Now we as Christians, of course, should not be participating in and or planning to do something unlawful or harmful. But I see absolutely no reason why we should not be paying attention and making ourselves aware and educated if someone else is conspiring to do that. For example, in the case of Donald Trump, and the suspicion with some very credible evidence that he and his administration may be colluding with Russia, at least some people in his administration. And yes, we should be praying for peace for Israel and for the United States. However, we do so with the full understanding and knowledge that all nations will one day come against Israel per the Bible and that in the end times, things are going to get bad. So the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 21, verse 36, which is one of my favorite verses, to watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So per the scripture in the Bible, God will provide Christians an escape mechanism. What that will be, well, that's another video in and of itself. But consequently, believing the Bible, expecting and anticipating the prophecies of the Bible to be fulfilled and actually watching some of this actually happening in my lifetime, what I pray for is for God's protection and for him to give me knowledge, guidance, and strength. So this video is starting to get long, so I can't go into depth regarding some of your other comments and observations, but I will go as far to say is that I think you may be right about the U.S. being Mystery Babylon. And Mystery Babylon is indeed falling. Falling, not fallen. Because it has fallen away from its foundation, which is God, and is becoming more and more morally debased every day. So let me leave it there. And thank you guys for watching. God bless. Peace and love.